Hey, hey, what's up? John again here with Linkswell, and we are talking T Style XL features. And the feature for today is how to get it connected to a Wi Fi source. So let's do it. All right, guys. So one thing about the uh, T-Style XL and the Generation 6 is it does actually have a SIM card spot. Uh, I will do a different video for the SIM card. Uh, this video, we're talking about Wi-Fi in case you don't want to add a SIM card. And uh, it's a fairly simple process, guys, but I figured I'd show you how to do it anyways. So we're going to get that radio booted up. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. We're going to go into the settings. That's what we're after. Find our settings icon, go into settings. And then you've got this page here where you've got general audio video user system. We're going to select system. And then the second option is network. Um, and that's just going to go ahead and it's going to open up uh, Wi-Fi. So we're going to say use Wi-Fi, turn it on. And that's going to start searching for Wi-Fi devices. Now, I'm going to let you know if you're an Apple guy, hear me out, guys. If you're an Apple guy and you're using your Apple phone as your hotspot, just know you are going to have to open your iPhone every time and open up the uh, personal hotspot option because Apple doesn't allow any other device to automatically connect to its uh, hotspot unless it's another Apple device that is signed into the same Apple ID. So it's just, it's Apple's rules, guys. We gotta live by them. And they're actually, Samsung uh, recently is doing the same thing, that unless you have another device that is signed into the same thing, it won't auto pair. Uh, so just know if you're using your phone as your hotspot, you may need to, in your phone, open up and say, hotspot, turn it on, and let it be visible for the radio to see it and the radio to pair for it. Now you won't have to do all of these steps that I'm about to do where you find it and put in the passcode. It will remember it is saved, but you have to go into the phone and actually make it visible uh, because it won't allow anything to connect to it uh, automatically when it's hidden. So that's just a side note on that. But we're gonna connect to the shop Wi-Fi because we're in the shop and it's just easier. So you can see we've turned on, we have all of these different uh, Wi-Fi sources um, so what you would do is you would connect it. It actually already paired on me, guys. Sorry about that. But you're just going to select the uh, Wi-Fi source you want. It's going to pop up with the password, just like it does on your phone. Put in that password, hit OK. It's going to pair. And then you should get up on the top right corner there. You should see uh, the Wi-Fi icon should light up. And it's going to give you uh, one, two, three bars, uh, letting you know just how strong your Wi-Fi signal is. Um, and that's as simple as it is, guys. Now, once you have Wi-Fi, all of the cool things that you could do on our T-Style radios uh, open up to you. The Google Play Store opens up to you. Um, things like the uh, Google Chrome. Um, if you download any kind of streaming app that needs service like Prime, like Pluto TV, like Netflix, like YouTube, like Spotify, something like that. Or even some of the cool things, like you guys are gonna see some videos coming out from us of, of us playing around in some off-road stuff because our tech actually makes off-roading really cool. Uh, and one of those things is what, uh, as, as a couple of the navigation apps for uh, trail riding like OnX. Uh, and having OnX and having uh, your thing connected to some kind of internet gives you the, uh, the trail navigation on a massive screen. Like, way better than your phone, way better than a tablet sitting off to the side, and especially on this XO with a 15 inch screen. Uh, but having Wi-Fi gives you the access to all of these uh, different things. So going into the Google Play Store, downloading your favorite apps, uh, watching TV, stuff like that. But it's as simple as that, super easy. Go to settings, go to system, hit network, and it's gonna pop open the Wi-Fi, make sure Wi-Fi is turned on, and then you're gonna search it out, find it, and then you should be good to go. One thing though, let me say this one more time, not one more time, but just an explanation. CarPlay, Android Auto, both of those, when they do wireless, actually take control of the radio's Wi-Fi chip. And here's why, a plug for adding a SIM in, you can have internet and wireless CarPlay. So if you connect your radio to Wi-Fi, there's a very good chance your CarPlay or Android Auto is going to disconnect. Uh, because it needs that connection. So just so you know, if you're trying to do wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto and have your radio tethered to some Wi-Fi, there's a good chance it's not gonna work for you. And that's where putting in a SIM card works. And uh, so yeah, look for that video too. We're gonna talk about putting a SIM card in your T-Style XL and your Generation 6 T-Style. But that's it guys, connect it to Wi-Fi, simple as that. We'll see you next time.